changing the magazine release button from a right-handed shooting position on the gun to a left-handed shooting position on the gun is simply a matter of removing the button, turning it around, and putting it back in the gun. Once you know how to do it, it really takes only about three minutes. However, because the tolerances are very tight, it will seem much more difficult the first time you do it. You have to line up everything just right. The spring is strong, so it takes a firm touch, but at the same time, everything has to be in alignment. Before attempting the procedure, I recommend you watch this video all the way through. After you have watched it, then watch it again, pausing frequently as you do the procedure with your gun. The first step is to unload and clear the gun. After clearing the gun, go ahead and remove the slide. You don't have to remove the slide to perform this procedure. However, with the slide off, the gun is much lighter and allows much more visibility when you're trying to install the button back into the frame. Once you have the slide off, remove the grips. During the first section of this video, I will reverse the button fairly quickly to give you an overview of the procedure. After that, we'll go through the procedures again, step by step, and we'll also do it a second time, step by step, from a different perspective. So you'll get plenty of chance to see how this, this goes together. Um, at the very end, um, we cover some of the problems or one of the problems that may arise. The button itself has got a very strong spring in it, and that's designed to hold the clip in place and not let it fall out. Um, because it's such a strong spring, when you're taking the uh, button out, occasionally uh, the spring will fly. Uh, the pieces will come apart, and we need to know how to get that back together. It doesn't happen all the time, um, but it can happen, and it has happened to me several times. The magazine release button only works from one side. Um, it's set up for a right-handed shooter, and the button is on the left side. Um, it is very simple, however, to reverse it. And to reverse it, all you do is push it down and back, and it will just pop right out. Um, once it pops right out, then you just switch it over, um, turn it the opposite direction, and put it back in. Now the big trick to getting it back in is to getting everything aligned correctly. Because it has very tight tolerances, you can't have it twisted by even you know, a slight angle um, or it just won't go. So try to get everything lined up properly before you try to start applying any pressure. Um, once you have everything lined up, then you can hold it with one hand. Um, you can hold it with one finger. And then with the other hand, you can push it down and towards the frame or towards the trigger. Um, we'll see that here in just a second. Struggle a little bit to get it lined up. Now it's lined up. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, now I'll hold it with my thumb and I'll push down and let it snap up and it is in place. And that's it. It's now set up for a left-handed shooter. Now when you put the magazine in without the slide on, it raises the, uh, the slide release so it won't automatically eject the magazine when you push the button to eject it. So I'm going to go ahead and put the slide back on so it can keep firm pressure on that magazine release or the slide release. And we'll go ahead and do a demonstration here. All right, now it's in. Push the button, and it'll pop right out. So you're done. Now all you have to do is put the grips back on and you're back in business and it's set up for a left-handed shooter. Now, we went through this fairly quickly, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go through it step by step with a little bit closer view. Um, we'll go a little bit slower and we'll have some screens that give you some additional information on how to do it. Okay, naturally pushing the magazine release button from the left side of the gun is just going to release the magazine. So you have to go to the other side and push it down and back at the same time, and it'll just pop right out. The magazine release button consists of the button itself, a long bushing, a short bushing, and a spring between the two. That spring is under high tension and will fly if it's given a chance.
This photo is showing the inside of the frame where the magazine release button goes. The larger side of the button with the, the part of the button that you push is going to be on the left for a right hand position and on the right for a left hand position. So when we took it out of the gun it was on the left hand side and we're going to turn it around and make it on the right hand side. There's a little recessed area in the frame and the edge of the bushing is going to go up against that recessed area and that's what you're going to push against in order to snap the button into place. Once it's aligned it should just snap right in. Uh, you'll push on it, it compresses the spring and in it goes. Now we're looking at the frame, uh, the inside of the frame where the recessed area is. Uh, to put it in for a left-handed shooter we're going to be putting it on this edge here. So we'll set the button in against this edge right here. Um, once we have it against that edge we'll snap it into place. The easiest way to get everything aligned correctly is to slide the button in from one side, from the opposite side. This is the side you're going to push, right? So now you get it in there and you want to line it up correctly on the other side as well and get that little bushing against the left edge, the left recessed edge, get it into place and you hold it with your index finger. Um, that's the edge of the bushing that needs to go against the ledge on the recessed part of that frame. Now you try to get it all straightened out. This may take some time and it needs to get maneuvered and uh, aligned correctly. Once it's in alignment though, it's a very simple matter of pushing it down and towards the frame and it should just snap right into place. Shouldn't take a lot of pressure if you've got it correctly lined up. There it is. Okay, let's do it again. You want to get everything lined up. You push it in from the opposite side, um, from the side that you're going to have the push button on. Okay, you want to slide it in and then drop it out a little bit so that it can get that edge on that uh, edge of that bushing on the recessed edge of that lip uh, inside the frame and get it into place. And then you can turn it over and you've got your finger holding it in place and it should just pop right in. Then all you have to do is put your grips back on and put your slide back on and you're ready to go. And whenever you're putting your grips on or whenever you're working on your gun, it's a good idea to have a, a screwdriver that's made for the gun or made for the gun screws. Um, I use a, a gun screwdriver kit made by Chapman that I've had for close to 30 years now and it has worked tremendously. Uh, it will save your gun screws, they don't get marred up like if you're using one from a, um, a hardware store or one that's not correctly sized. Uh, it, it's just a good idea to use the right tools for the job. So once you get your grips back on, put your slide on, and let's give it a test. Okay, we've got our grips on, now let's put the slide on. Stick a magazine in, and with our left hand, we'll go ahead and grip the gun, and eject the magazine with our left thumb. The next section of this video will address the magazine release button coming apart and how to put it back together. Um, if this is your first time watching the video, I highly suggest you watch the video all the way through before you attempt to do this with your gun. This will help you to prevent the problem from occurring and if it does occur, uh, know how to handle it once it does. As I said earlier, the magazine release button consists of the button itself, uh, two bushings, and a spring. 
the long bushing always goes to the side that has the part of the button that you push. Um, you can tell the little uh, area inside this button from this back side has a long side and a short side. Well, the long bushing goes on the long side and the short bushing goes on the short side. Um, if this thing flies open when you're removing the button from the gun, uh, you need to get all the pieces back together and then you're going to have to uh, put them back into the button itself. Um, this happened while I was making this video and it flew across the room and I spent about five minutes looking for it. Uh, very frustrating when it happens. So if you look at the bushings, you'll see there's a hole in the bushings for the spring to fit in. Um, the spring goes between the two bushing, bushings and causes the tension that holds the magazine in place. Um, it's a very strong spring. Um, putting these bushings back in can also let your bushings go flying through the air or off to the moon and you'll be hunting for them. Um, the easiest way to do it is to put the large bushing in first and just slide it over to the edge. And once you've done that, then you take the spring and put the spring into that bushing. Now you're going to put the other bushing into the spring and we're going to have to compress this in order for it to slide down. So what I like to use is my little handy dandy tool that I made here, um, but a, a flathead screwdriver will work perfect. Um, what you're going to do is hold it very firmly and you're going to compress this with the flat side of a flathead screwdriver. And while you're doing this, you want to hold down on the top of the spring so that it doesn't come flying apart. Compress it and let it drop into place. And then you might want to give it a good push to make sure everything is good before you try to go on from here. And that's it. Uh, the magazine release button is ready to go back in the gun. I hope you found this video helpful. Um, if you did find it helpful, please give us a like or a thumbs up. You also might want to consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of the other videos as they're released. We have a detailed disassembly for the Breda 92 coming out soon, as well as videos for the Bursa Thunder 380, Remington 870, Winchester SXP, and many others. Thanks for watching.